Oh boy, last time I had to make a pawn game in scratch. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel, Your Critical Study. Today, I will be showing you how to make a zombie shooter game in scratch. First, let's get started. First, go to delete the cat sprite. Then, click to paint a sprite. And make a small square. Just zoom in and... And press shift and make a, a perfect square. And center it. And drag out a wing green flag clip. Go to motions, point in direction, 90, and go to XY, 0, 0. And go to looks and show. Go to controls, drag out forever loop. Drag out an if block, condition, go to sensing and drag out key, press, and select up arrow. Go to motions, and drag out change y by, and set value to 5. Similarly, duplicate the up arrow and switch that for down arrow. And switch the value to negative 5. And duplicate the whole stack and put it at the bottom. And put this for right arrow and left arrow. And put and put a change x by five and change x by negative five in right and left arrow check. As you see, if you click the green for the character with the the arrow keys, you can move the player up, down, left, right. Now let's add the gun. Make a new sprite and make a gun. You can draw whatever you like, but I'm just going to do this. And copy the player sprite by selecting all and then control C. Or command C. Go to the sprite 2 and paste it. And put it back. And now position your gun. You can position it anywhere, but I'll position it here. Then delete the square. And put it in the middle, actually. Drag out a one green black click, go to looks, and drag out go to front layer, and switch costume to costume 1. Go to control the drag out forever loop, and drag out point towards mouse and point. Go to sprite 1, which is a player sprite, and rename your player. Um, go to events and broadcast a new message and name it reset reset gun and go to sprite 2 and rename it gun and drag out when I receive reset gun go to go to motion drag out go to xy go to sensing Drag out two stage of backdrop number block and select both select the stage value for player both of them and put Y for uh, Y position and you can put it add for the go, put an addition operator inside. The go to x y y x x value. I will try maybe negative seven plus negative seven, and for the second one for the y position, I'll try maybe negative five, and as I use it on a 
right right side good now we can we can make it sh with the gun shoot drag out one wing flat click forever loop then go to an uh, if statement go to operate drag a or go to sensei drag a key space on the le left side and right mouse down on the right side make a new spark name bullet bullet Zoom in and make a small bullet. See if the size is good on screen. And center it. Drag out one green flag looks and hide. Go to controls, drag out one that stands a cloak. And go to looks and show. Then Go to motions and go to X swap. You can do the same value as for go to X swap gun. Go to backdrop of stage, backdrop number of stage, and set gun for X position, and next is Y position. And go to looks and make it go to front layer. Then go to control, drag out repeat until, and go to sensing and touching edge inside the repeat until value. And move 20 steps. And if it touches the edge, we want to delete itself. So delete it clone. It's clone. And also before it's, before you can test, drag out point in direction and the direction of gun. Go to gun and drag out a create clone myself and set the value to bullet and wait 0 0.2 seconds. And if you try to click the green flag, you will see a bullet. A bullet. You can move the player and you can shoot bullet by pressing mouse down or or a space. The gun also follows your mouse pointer. The only thing I want to add is a gun like shooting animation. Go to costumes and duplicate the first one. And name the first one fire. Name the first one gun. And name the second one fire. Fire gun. And you can. I'll do small explosion particles. But to be honest, I will get it from my backpack. I use someone else's costume because I can't draw my own. So I'll just delete. I'll just copy the, the muzzle flash and put it on the gun. And I'll make, I'll make it like this and put it on the gun. So it's, real, it's a, like a gun animation. And delete this. I'll put these costumes in the description below. And make a new block named paint. <laughs> and put the paint block just before the weight block. In a in the key space press condition. Then go to motion, I mean looks, drag out a switch costume to gun fire, fire gun. Then go to motions. I mean, go to controls, wait 0 0.05 seconds, or 0, uh, 0 0.1 0 .1 seconds, and switch costume back to the gun. Now if we try, and if you shoot, it, the, the muzzle flash, which is the gun animation, will appear. But to be honest, this muzzle flash is like, Maybe you can try a different value, maybe 0 0.05. Better. Maybe you should make it like a sick, maybe this sicker. So it looks more like a, more like a gun animation. And before this episode ends,
Maybe we should change the player's color and make a backdrop. Go to the player costume tab, then put no outlines and make the square yellow. You can choose any color. You don't. Have, you can't have outlines. Let's make a backdrop Co and convert to bitmap and select the color for your backdrop. Maybe I should go to choose a backdrop. Could blue sky too. So it looks better. See now the player shoots. You can move. We're gonna add enemies in for episode two. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Your further study if you want to see more your teaching videos. Bye bye. See you next time.